God for this victory and I uh, also thank the judiciary for this uh, win. Uh, you also what happened in Buruburu. Uh, now we shall be pursuing the so-called notorious grabber, the little guy, to compensate uh, the school. The damages it caused the day he was trying to uh, illegally uh, evict uh, the church and the school. And uh, mourning other land grabbers who have the subject of uh, uh, evicting innocent landowners in Nairobi. We are watching you and we shall be dealing with you. We also want to thank, thank the judiciary. Uh, on Sunday, there was another demolition uh, in Nisili, Madiwa. We also set aside that order. The property has already been restored to the rightful owners. We also received another complaint uh, today from uh, the widow of the late Zakaria Ogongo that one of his properties in Nisili has been grabbed. We've done the search today. And uh, from the, the documents we have, it's clear that uh, the property belongs to uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ogongo. Uh, he, her other property was also grabbed in uh, Omoja. We already processed that one and it's restored uh, back to Mrs. Ogongo. So we shall be dealing with these cases one by one, one by one, until we get justice for the widows mm. yes, and the poor. Mm. And we are even appealing to all of our landowners in Nairobi because our main uh, duty is to protect the interests of all Nairobians, all Kenyans, the poor, the rich. We'll make sure that we fight for uh, justice for them. Thank you very much. Gracious. And his grace is sufficient. I praise the Lord. Because now the property has been returned to Glad Tidings Church. I'm happy. There was no way this plot was going to go the wrong way. Because God is not sleeping. God is alive. And God is so faithful. And God cannot start doing a good thing. And then he turns it to be a bad thing. A lot of people have come there, they have gotten, they have, they have been saved there, people have gotten their deliverances there. Huh? Oh, I praise God. I just praise God for what he has done for us today. The church is back and it's going to continue till eternity. Amen. Huh? There was no way God was going to allow evil things to come into his property. Yes. 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 I press, um, I, I thank God for all the people who have stood with us. They have prayed with us and God has given us victory. All of us. Hmm? No one is weeping today. We are all laughing. I'm laughing and praising God. Even though I have missed my flight, to take me back home, but I praise God for what he has done. And I cannot forget, uh, I cannot forget to thank our governor, Mr. Mike Sonko. God bless you wherever you are. Without your help, we don't have been here today. Thank you for coming to our rescue on that day. It was a faithful day for this country, for the children of this country, crying and wailing for help. Thank God you came for their help. Thank God you came and stood with us. Wherever you are, God bless you and bless you with your family. I will continue praying for you. I will continue thanking God because of you. Our God is great. The victory we have have had today is so wonderful. Even though I'm hungry to now, <laughs> but that is going to go. Yeah. Huh? Because God has done something big. Huh? Hallelujah. This is the God I know. And this is the God I'm working for. I just want to ask my children, 
Edward Opiko Otieno and his wife Christine Anyango Ochola come back to God and repent before God. We as Ochola family, we are ready to forgive you and to welcome you back home. Hmm? It has been so long since you left us, Christine, but I'm calling you back because God is here to forgive you and God is here to bring you back to the fold of his people. May the Lord bless you as you come. Don't feel ashamed. Don't feel ashamed. Just come to the Lord. Come to our family. We are waiting to welcome you home. God bless you so much. Our governor, God bless you so much. Thank you and thank you. Amen. Um, the application dated 27 May 2019. Um, 
by the people with energy in interested parties that they join is allowed in terms of their free to the extent that the order be issued on 10 April 2019 has set aside for one of the trial courts the Kenyan jurisdiction. Order 2, the application dated at 1st May 2019 by the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th December is allowed in terms of prayer to be similarly for one of your jurisdiction and for the first that those orders were issued over and above what was prayed for each party. Each party bear their own court, right of appeal for all parties or team leaders. And I am so, so glad that Mama Mary is here today to see what God has done. I am so, so grateful to the governor of Nairobi and I wish all leaders of our country were like my example, loving justice, following justice, and also supporting a process in justice to the very end. Thank you all. May God bless you, and I also appeal to Christian in particular. And Edward, the husband, please come back home. Come back home. You know I was there when you are getting married. You know I was there even in the negotiations of your dowry and everything else. And you know that I was extremely close to Mama and the late Bishop. When I say come back, I really mean come back. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. We want to lift up your name. Because you are our Father, you are our good God. We thank you for everything you have done to us today, Lord. We have seen your victory. We have seen your hand, Lord, uplifting your name. Thank you. We glorify your name. We magnify thee. And we honor you, Lord. What we have seen today has just come from you. It is not a man's work. It was your own work. You have defended your church. The church has come back to its place. The property is back to the church. And this is what we have been asking you to do for us. You have done it, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for the people in the authority. Thank you for our governor, Honorable Mike Sonko. What he has done, Lord, it is because of you. You touched his heart and you spoke through him and he worked and he did it. Lord, we thank you. We may lack words to thank you, Father, but you understand us because our words are limited. You understand what I mean when I stand here. I just want to magnify you I want to glorify you, I want to honor you, and I want to live for you forever and ever. Because if it was not because of you, Lord, we wouldn't have been here today. But it is because of you we are here to thank you and to thank you and to thank you. Victory is ours because you have given it to us. May your name receive glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lord.